friends welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Han and I run a small business called Han Embroiders I am a professional hand embroidery artist and I run my small business across a couple of different platforms the main one being Etsy and I have also recently started a Shopify store so this video is going to be like a day in the life of a small business owner Etsy edition hand embroidery edition <laughs> Hi guys, editing Han here. I don't know why I didn't mention the fact that I specifically work with shoes. I'm a shoe embroidery artist, but there you go. Okay, back to the video. So without further ado, I'm gonna hop right into my morning admin. I also take care of a lot of social media stuff in the morning, check over all my SEO analytics, all of my Etsy stats, respond to emails and collaboration requests, and then somebody has to go outside for a quick potty break, not naming any names. So I'm going to hop right into my morning work and I'll take you guys along with me for the entire day today. Has anyone ever told you that you're a stage 5 clinger? Hi guys, me again. The thing I take care of first is usually the messages I receive on Etsy and Shopify. Etsy does this really cool thing where they penalize you if you don't respond to a message quickly enough. I often wake up in cold sweats worrying about whether or not I responded to a message quickly enough. Love that for all Etsy shop owners. I am a big tea drinker. This morning I have a piping hot cup of lemon ginger tea. We are sadly out of my preferred rooibos herbal tea, but I'll make do. So after all my emails and other messages have been handled, it's time to do the rounds on social media. I find it important to structure this time I spend online because it's really easy to just start doom scrolling and then you look up and find that you've spent 30 minutes doing absolutely nothing. So I spend my time looking through different trends, saving trending audios and posting drafts that I've made earlier in the week. I found success on both Instagram and TikTok comes with consistent posting. So I'm always trying to make sure that I have content ready to post across all platforms daily. Some really great advice that I kind of live by is never underestimate the power of a trend in audio. Let's let the algorithm work for us. I have a couple of Instagram reels that are hitting the 10 million view range and it's literally just because I use trending audios at the perfect time when they were just taken off. After I've taken care of my social media channels for the morning, it's time for some cuddles with my sweet babies. Dave, my cat, is such a lover. Then my boy Lionel reminded me that he needs to go for a quick wee. He does usually go on one long walk a day with me and his dad, but I I did choose not to film that part of our day. Look at that big stretch. Does anyone else's dog try and drag them out of the door with their leash? Just mine? All right, so I'm in my studio now and I'm ready to get on with some tasks for today. The first thing I'm gonna take care of is printing off and packaging up some shoe embroidery kit orders. I usually like to keep some in stock that are already printed off, but one of my kits has been super popular, so it's actually sold out a couple of times. So I'll take you through the process of printing that kit off and cutting it out and getting it all prepped for the shoe embroidery kits. Why am I sweating? So I don't want to say too much about this printer. Anytime that I acknowledge its existence or think about it too much, it has a total breakdown. It's just a regular HP inkjet printer. And here is a printed sheet of fabric Solby with one of my kit designs printed on it. I actually find it quite therapeutic to cut out all the pieces for my kits. It is important that I don't get too close to the design. And then it's also important that I don't need too much excess fabric Solby. So it's kind of a fine line that I have to tread. I pop the uncut extras back into their pouch and retrieve the packaging for this kit. I'm also going to be packing two orders for the number two shoe embroidery kit so I'm grabbing the uncut prints and two empty packages. When I tell you that packaging these kits is one of my greatest joys in life, I love to peel off the backing and seal the stickers inside. The whole thing is just so satisfying. My kits come with barcodes on the backs of them that take you straight to the video tutorial for that specific design. I don't know why they're so pretty to me. I like to pop them into little baggies with the needles and finger protectors that come with each kit. I then assemble them into their mailers with stickers. I really do love stickers. Anytime I get stickers with something that I ordered, I'm like, yep, this was definitely worth it. Okay, this printer I love. It's a little thermal label printer from Pedulo, I believe, and it was worth every penny. Printing shipping labels is so easy because they print onto these little sticky label things. So here's the precious cargo all ready to ship out. 
Okay, now that I have the kits all assembled and ready to ship out, I'm gonna spend some time in Procreate on my iPad, which is where I hand draw and design all of my shoe embroidery kit designs. I have plans to release this new kit in the next couple of weeks or so, so I really need to finalize the design and get my measurements and everything right. This new design is based on a design that I actually already sell in my store as a finished shoe. It's a galaxy zodiac themed design with planets, stars, and zodiac signs included within the design. So I'm gonna hop right into that and once I'm happy with where that's headed, we'll start some actual embroidery work. I feel like so much of owning and running a small business behind the scenes is so different from what people might expect. Like I consider myself a professional artist, I'm a professional embroidery artist, and yeah, I haven't touched a needle and thread today. I'm actually super happy to be doing a video like this to show everybody a bit of behind the scenes of what goes into running a small business and everything. But I'm gonna stop blabbering and I'm gonna jump into Procreate now. If you took a shot every time I said design in the last clip, you would literally be on the floor. So I originally got the Procreate app because I thought I might become some kind of fan art extraordinaire. I read a lot of books and in turn I follow a lot of artists on Instagram. Sadly, my drawing skills leave quite a lot to be desired. I can embroider a portrait, like a lifelike image of a dog or a cat. Thread painting is actually what a lot of embroidery artists refer to it as. But if you ask me to sketch something with a pencil or a pen, I will cry. Procreate makes it super easy for me to sketch out the kit designs, even with my lacking skills. The most time consuming aspect of creating the shoe embroidery kits is the filming of the video tutorial. Finding angles that make it possible to embroider the shoe and get the stitches on camera is actually a huge challenge just in itself. Also takes hours of editing after that to put it all together. Yesterday I embroidered my first pair of Toms. I did one of my um, Vans designs, one of my low top converse Vans designs on a pair of Toms for a lady that requested these shoes. And I really loved how they turned out. So I'm gonna take some product photos so that I can make make an individual listing dedicated to this design on Tom's shoes. And I need to do this now while I still have a little bit of natural sunlight. So for my product listing photos, I usually like a plain white satin background. And then I crack out my trusty Canon Rebel XTI. This is a DSLR camera that I bought in my junior year of college, probably about seven years ago now. I use this 25 millimeter lens. It's a dupe of the Canon one and it works just as well. I focus on getting a bunch of different angles of the shoes. I usually take way too many photos every time I whip this camera out but it's okay because I actually rather enjoy editing in Lightroom. All right guys it is finally embroidery time. Today I'm going to be working with this pearly slightly shiny thread from DMC. Okay, so I've just started working on these monochrome classic Converse. And this customer wants the entire design embroidered in that white iridescent type of thread that I showed you a minute ago. So I'm super psyched actually to see how these turn out. I think it's gonna be super cute. It's gonna be like a design that kind of shows up under certain light and it will be really subtle, but when you do see it on the shoe, it'll be like it belonged there the whole time. Got no idea if that made sense, but it makes sense in my mind. I'm gonna pop on an audiobook from Audible. Today we're listening to a Court This Cruel and Lovely by Stasia Stark. Oh wow, I only have three hours and 38 minutes left of this audiobook, so we might finish it today, who knows. Remember how I said the embroidery kits took a lot of time to film? It's because the easiest way to embroider shoes is when they're four inches from your face. When the enemies are finally becoming lovers in the slow burn, but you're not really quite sure how you feel about the development. I also take multiple snap breaks throughout the day. Hey guys, I just finished these white monochrome Converse. I'll show you some close-ups because I absolutely love how these turned out. The thread is like super lightly luminescent. It kind of like reflects a little bit of light. It's a tiny bit shiny. But the bride that ordered these wanted the thread to blend in with the white of the shoe as much as possible. She didn't want it to stand out a lot. So I think she's really gonna like how these turned out. I absolutely love them. I think I'm definitely gonna make these into their own listing. And because of that, I'm not going to package them up and get them ready for mailing yet because I do wanna take photos of them tomorrow when I have some daylight. Because it just turned five o'clock here and I have lost the sunlight, sadly. It's voice over me again. Just wanted to pop in and show you the finished edited photos of these shoes. I told you they turned out super cute. But I will set these off to the side along with the Keds that I took photos of today and I'll get those packaged up tomorrow ready to take to the post office. So technically it is the end of my work day. I finished my embroidery for the day. 
got the shoe embroidery kits packaged and ready to ship out and completed my other smaller tasks that I set myself earlier in the day. I definitely will be doing more social media work and I will probably be editing some photos in Lightroom tonight, but I'll be doing that from the comfort of my bed and I won't be videoing that. So I think that is where this video comes to an end. I really hope that you have enjoyed spending the day with me. I know a lot of small business owner day in the life videos can look very different, but today was a pretty regular day for me. I do a lot of different tasks through throughout the day and then I usually start and finish one shoe in one day. It hasn't always been like this. When I first started my business I was doing three to four pairs of shoes a day and I was working from 6am to 9pm but I've managed to get my business to the point where I'm able to schedule myself one shoe a day Monday to Friday and then add in my little bits and bobs like shoe embroidery kit designing, social media, admin, email responses, collaboration responses, you know just like all of the bits and bobs that come with running a small business. I think it is still really important to remember that most small businesses, it's just one person behind the scenes doing absolutely everything. If you have stuck around for this long, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I do make other content focused around embroidery, DIY videos, tutorials. So if that sounds like it might be up your alley, perhaps subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like. If you have any questions or comments for me, leave me a comment and I will see you in my next video. Bye.